Today we will be discussing bilirubin metabolism and cause of jaundice. So let's start. See, it's, it first starts with the RBC lysis. From RBC we get hemoglobin. From hemoglobin, heme and globin are separated. And by breaking down heme, we get iron and protoporphyrin. So basically see, the structure of heme is something like this. There is iron in the center. Okay, and there is like protoporphyrin ring, ring surrounding. So from this iron is separated which is stored and the surrounding protoporphyrin, protoporphyrin ring is converted into unconjugated bilirubin. So all these steps they occur in the blood. So the first cause of uh, jaundice is uh, hemolytic anemia. Okay, In hemolytic anemia there is excessive lysis of RBC. Okay, So we get more, more unconjugated bilirubin which causes jaundice. From, unconju from unconjugated bilirubin we get conjugated bilirubin through help of the enzyme called uridine glucuronosyl transferase okay or you can say UGT see all this orange part which is sh uh, shown here it occurs in the blood okay and the conjugation process it occurs in the liver okay now see we already discussed the first cause that is hemolytic anemia okay it can be due to any cause like sp uh, hereditary spherocytosis or uh, autoimmune anemia okay or any other cause now see the remaining part this part it occurs in the liver okay I have shown it in the blue color now see the main thing is that unconjugated bilirubin it is insoluble in water okay while conjugated bilirubin it is soluble in water see how I remember is like this see uh, let's let me write here unconjugated bilirubin okay unconjugated bilirubin is also called indirect bilirubin indirect bilirubin and it is insoluble in water insoluble okay insoluble in water unconjugated bilirubin is indirect bilirubin and it is insoluble in water so let's proceed further see uh, the three causes of jaundice which are due to problem in uridine glucuronosyl transferase are Gilbert syndrome okay Krigler Nazar syndrome and physiologic jaundice of newborn okay out of these the most most dangerous is Krigler Nazar syndrome okay because in this there is complete absence of UGT here we have complete absence of UGT while in Gilbert syndrome we have decreased amount of UGT okay so normally these patients are asymptomatic okay but when they have either some kind of physical stress okay or mental stress then in that condition they develop jaundice okay I all the question that I saw uh, related to Gilbert syndrome always mention about having some kind of stress either it can be infection okay or it can be mental stress it can be menstrual cycle okay or any other cause you can say exercise fasting okay or any any other cause which causes uh, some kind of stress to our body can result in jaundice okay in patients having Gilbert syndrome now the second one is Krigler Najjar syndrome in which there is complete absence of UGT in this case the only treatment option is liver transplant okay there there is no other way to save the patient the third one is physiologic jaundice of newborn in this there is relative deficiency of UGT in first few days of life okay let's suppose in a normal person uh, the ability of liver to conjugate uh, bilirubin is suppose 100 let's say liver is able to conjugate 100 molecules of bilirubin in one minute okay but in this newborn let's say their capacity is only 25 they can only conjugate 25 uh, molecules of unconjugated bilirubin in one minute so what about the rest of the unconjugated bilirubin that unconjugated bilirubin will not be conjugated and it will uh, it will float around in the blood okay and will cause jaundice so that's the reason of physiologic jaundice of newborn and the treatment is obviously phototherapy okay phototherapy which acts like UGT it converts the uh, unconjugated bilirubin into conjugated bilirubin and as we know that conjugated bilirubin is water soluble it can be flushed out in the kidney okay you can remove it from the body through kidney and in this way conju unconjugated bilirubin will not deposit in 
uh, all the places in the body like brain basal ganglia or anywhere else so that's the treatment phototherapy now from unconjugated bilirubin we make conjugated bilirubin in hepatocytes okay from there it is transported into bile canaliculi okay and here there is a necessary protein called membranous protein for transport okay membranous protein now if there is defect in this protein okay then unconjugated bilirubin cannot be transferred into bile canaliculi and in this way there is the unconjugated bilirubin will build up within the hepatocytes okay and this will cause jaundice the two classic cause in which uh, you can see deficient uh, means problem with membranous protein is dubin johnson syndrome and rotor syndrome in both of these uh, in dubin johnson syndrome and rotor syndrome you cannot okay means i mean the body cannot transport conjugated bilirubin from hepatocyte into the bile canaliculi so there will be build up of uh, conjugated bilirubin within the hepatocyte and it will eventually go into the blood okay so th this will cause jaundice now all the congenital causes of jaundice either it's gilbert syndrome or krigler nazar syndrome or dubin johnson or rotter syndrome all of them are autosomal recessive okay so just keep that in mind now from bile canaliculi the bile bile along with the bilirubin will go into the bile duct okay and from bile duct it will go into the duodenum okay so here comes another cause of the jaundice it is obstruction okay if there is obstruction of bile duct then conju conjugated bilirubin cannot go into the duodenum okay it cannot go into the duodenum and because of this the conjugated bilirubin will get a backup here means it will uh, accumulate within the bile duct bile canaliculi and eventually it will rupture the bile duct and bile canaliculi so that's one of the cause of uh, jaundice okay obstruction and the two classic cause are gallstone okay either it can be gallstone or carcinoma of head of pancreas both of these will cause obstruction in the bile duct okay and you will see uh, excess conjugated bilirubin okay so these are the cause for in which you can you will see increased conjugated bilirubin now see when bile duct uh, when the conjugated bilirubin moves from bile duct into duodenum okay there it is converted into urobilinogen okay the conjugated bilirubin is converted into urobilinogen now see uh, from the urobilinogen is formed in the small intestine okay and the 80% of the urobilinogen it goes in the stool okay 18% it is recirculated back into the liver and 2% goes into the kidneys okay so this 2% that is going in the kidney gives yellow color to the urine okay it gives yellow color to the urine now uh, one cause which i didn't mention and, and it, it's one of the most important is obviously hepatitis okay in hepatitis there will be problem all in the conjugation of the bilirubin there will be problem with the transport of bilirubin in short there will be damage to hep uh, hepatocytes as well as the bile canaliculi okay so in this way hepatitis will also cause jaundice now the one of the most confusing thing for most of the student is what is the cause of color of urine in jaundice okay in jaundice we obviously know that there is, there is a dark color of the urine okay now what is the cause of this dark color of the urine so let's try to understand it means what caused the color of the urine see the color of the urine the dark color of the urine not in normal person it it will always be due to urobilinogen okay it is it will always be due to urobilinogen in normal person but the people who are having jaundice it can be in those people it can be either due to urobilinogen or it can be due to conjugated bilirubin so to know in which kind of jaundice uh, what will cause the dark color of urine we should ask two questions to ourselves see first ask the question is there any damage to bile canalicular or bile canaliculi or bile duct see is there damage to bile duct okay if the answer is yes it means the conjugated bilirubin from the bile duct is going into the blood and once it reach the blood it will definitely go into the kidney uh, sorry it will go into the kidney obviously so this will give the dark color to the urine so see first ask the question is there damage the answer is yes so what are the causes in which you can see damage of the bile duct see there are only two causes 
first one is hepatitis okay and the second one is obviously obstruction in which there is backup of bile okay and that will cause the rupture of the bile duct so these are the only two causes in which you will see uh, the dark color of urine due to conjugated bilirubin so let me write here hepatitis okay and conjugated bilirubin these are the two causes in which you will see dark color of urine due to conjugated bilirubin now the second question is this is bilirubin reaching the duodenum is bilirubin reaching the duodenum okay see if the answer is yes okay if the answer is yes that bilirubin is reaching duodenum then we will see urobilinogen in urine okay urobilinogen in the urine because see without reaching duodenum the bilirubin cannot be converted into urobilinogen okay and so we will not see it in the urine but in all the causes of jaundice in which the uh, by bilirubin is reaching the duodenum we will definitely see dark color of urine due to urobilinogen so we, which are the two cause in which we, we will see bilirubin reaching the duodenum see the first one is hepatitis in hepatitis the bilirubin is definitely reaching the bilirubin is reaching the duodenum it will be less than the normal person but still it is reaching so the, the dark color of urine will also be due to urobilinogen another cause is hemolysis in hemolysis there is no problem with bile canaliculi or bile duct so the bilirubin will reach the duodenum and it will be converted into urobilinogen and that will give the dark color of urine so the cause of uh, dark color of urine due to urobilinogen are hepatitis okay and hemolytic anemia hemolytic anemia so see the dark color color of urine due to conjugated bilirubin the answer is hepatitis and obstruction 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 okay the dark color of urine due to urobilinogen the answer is hepatitis and hemolytic anemia so this is all about the bilirubin metabolism and jaundice